today I'm going to be testing out some ASOS makeup. Now, I literally have a full face of ASOS makeup that I've ordered online and the only thing I wasn't actually able to get was foundation because they don't actually sell foundation or concealer. I'm going to be testing out the products together to see whether we like them. I honestly don't really have high hopes because ASOS is amazing at clothes, like that is their forte, they're a clothing brand. Um, but when they released the products a few months ago, I was kind of skeptical. I didn't really know whether I wanted to try them, but today has come. I am going to be trying them for you guys on camera and I'm really excited. If you guys are brand new and you haven't seen my face before, make sure you guys subscribe and also hit the bell button down below to stay notified of every time I post a new video. But without further ado, let's get on into the video. Okay, so all of the ASOS products have basically come in these little black bubble wrap envelopes. So everything is packaged very securely. I actually got this next Next day delivery as well. Next day delivery on Asos is like the best thing ever. So the first thing I'm going to use is the bronzer. This is what it looks like. I absolutely love the packaging. I think it's so cute and it's bright pink so can't really go wrong. Um, I actually wasn't able to find a like a contour kit or anything on the website so that is why I'm going for a powder bronzer. Now looking at this it's got like a slight shimmer to it. Not too much but just a tiny, tiny bit, so it's not completely matte. Now, I'm kind of skeptical whether I'm gonna like this already because I only like um, very matte and flat bronzers because I feel like they look the most natural on the skin. So let's just, let's just dig into this bad boy. It looks quite pigmented on the brush, actually. Here it goes. Ooh, I quite like that, you know. That is actually a really nice color. Like, it's quite subtle. It's not too orangey, it's quite cool toned, which is definitely a winner in my books. In terms of the slight shimmer to the bronzer, when I actually apply it to my skin, nothing is coming up. I can't see any shimmer, maybe the tiniest bit, but it's nothing major, so I definitely don't mind it, which is a good start. Okay, so for the bronzer, I think I give this probably like a 6 out of 10. It's okay, it's not like the best bronzer I use. I kind of feel like it's given me quite a muddy look. I'm now gonna take a blusher. This is in shade Acceptance, and this is such a beautiful color. Look at that, guys. So I'm just gonna pick some of that up on my Real Techniques brush and just apply it to, ooh, oh, okay. <laughs> that is very pigmented. Okay, I'm trying to blend this out. It actually blends out quite well, though, so not a problem. I did not think this would be so pigmented, but it is, which is good. So you only need the tiniest bit and it goes a very long way. I am really liking the blush. I feel like it gives my skin like a very nice, healthy flush of color to the skin. Um, it's not like powdery. It's really highly pigmented. So you only need the tiniest bit, but it blends out really well. So can't really fault it. I think I give this like a nine out of 10. And the last skin related product we have is a highlighter stick. This is what it looks like. I think it's really cool. Um, it's just got the same like eye kind of logo on it. And the color is so pretty. It's like that perfect champagne golden sort of color. So I'm just gonna apply that to the highest point of my cheek. Wow, okay, I am digging this so far. Oh my god, this is so nice. Do you guys see that? That is such a pretty natural looking glow. Like, I feel like the color makes it look really natural and not like I've got like a bunch of highlighter on my face. This is so nice and it's so pigmented too. I'm actually really liking it. The actual formula of this product is really nice. It's not like too greasy, it's very creamy. So it's really easy to apply to the skin and then blend it out. I am really liking this. I'm gonna give this a 10 out of 10. I'm now gonna move on to my brows. Now I actually wasn't able to find a brow product on the website. So I just picked up the eyeshadow palette I'm also gonna be using for my eyes. This is the Devoted eyeshadow palette. So it has a bunch of really nice neutral shades as you can see so i'm just going to be taking this matte brown shadow to try and attempt to fill my brows with that i have no idea if it's going to be my shade but we're just going to go with it i do feel like i actually made a mistake with this i should have just used a normal brow product because the shadow although it's like really nice and it kind of does match my eyebrows it's very warm toned so it's going to kind of leave my brows looking a little bit ginger Okay, 
Okay, so the brows are done. They're not the worst, but they're also not the best. We're just gonna roll with it. I'm just gonna skip ahead now and move it to the eyes. I'm gonna be using a mixture of all these shadows really, just to kind of get a feel of what they're like, whether they're creamy, whether there's a lot of fallout. In fact, whilst I was using this brown shadow for my brows, I felt like there wasn't really much fallout. The actual eyeshadow application was very smooth and creamy, so it's looking quite promising right now. So the first eyeshadow I'm gonna be taking is the lightest shade of the whole palette. I'm gonna just use that as like a nice all over kind of color to set that down so that all the eyeshadows can kind of blend into that. So I'm just gonna pick that up on a fluffy brush and just kind of brush that all over. That is actually quite nicely pigmented. I didn't expect that, but it's actually quite impressive. I'm now gonna take the slightly darker, like taupey sort of shade and just pop that through the crease as a little bit of definition right there. Yeah, this shadow isn't really the most pigmented shadow I've ever used, but it's perfect for like your everyday sort of subtle look and it's definitely really great as a slight transition color. I'm then gonna take the slightly pinky shadow, which is this one here, and just run that through the crease again. Yes, I am liking that color actually. That is a lot more pigmented than the brown one. I feel like this palette is definitely perfect for like an everyday sort of look where you don't really need super, super intense pigmentation, but you definitely want enough pigmentation to actually be able to see it and for it to show up on the skin. But by no means is this palette going to be intense. So that's the kind of thing you're looking for, I probably wouldn't recommend this palette. I'm now going to take the darker brown shadow that we previously used for our brows and I'm just going to pop that into the very outer corner just to kind of add a sense of a slight smoky eye but we do want this to be quite natural. I'm just going to be creating like an everyday sort of look so nothing too crazy. This is sort of the look that I kind of tend to go for for every day. I never really apply too much eyeshadow. I'm also gonna take that brown underneath the lower lash line ever so slightly as well. Now, lastly for the eyes, I'm gonna be taking the slightly shimmery shadow. This is actually the only shimmery shadow from this whole palette. So I'm just gonna take that on a small pointed brush and just apply that into my inner corners. I always like to do this for my everyday sort of look because I feel like this opens up the eyes so much more and makes you look so much more awake. I'm also gonna take that up to the brow bone and highlight those areas as well. I'm then also going to just pop my finger into the eyeshadow palette and just pop that ever so slightly onto the center of my lid just to add a slight shimmer and add a pop of color right there. Okay, so that is the eyeshadow finished. My thoughts on the palette is that it's definitely really great for people who are like beginners to makeup, who don't really like such pigmented shadows on their lids for every day. It's just like the perfect little everyday sort of palette. I feel like this palette would be perfect for younger people because it means you can't make any mistakes. They're really easy to blend out these shadows and also they're not too pigmented, which kind of means that you can never go overboard with eyeshadow. So this will definitely be really great for school, especially if you're school doesn't really allow you to wear makeup. Okay, now let's move on to the eyeliner. This is literally my favorite part of any testing video. Um, so I have got my hands on the liquid liner from ASOS. It just looks like this. Um, the packaging is really nice. Like it's very cohesive throughout the whole brand. So I really like that. Um, it's a felt tip liner, as you can see. So it's very, very pointed. I'm going to see how black it is as well. Cause I feel like, hmm, I'm not really too sure how black this is going to be, but we will see. I'm just gonna go in with this and create my very typical sort of everyday winged liner. So one eye is done. I am loving this eyeliner, honestly. It's actually really easy to use. I didn't think it would be, but the tip is very stiff. Even though it's really long, as you can see, it's very stiff, so you can really get that precise liner without it kind of like wobbling around or anything. Um, the liner is actually really pigmented and super black, as you can see, so I'm really rating this eyeliner so far. So I'm just doing my second wing and I have come across one thing that I don't really like about it, and that's basically the fact that it's already kind of drying out as I'm trying to do the second wig. So be warned, if you're getting this eyeliner, it's probably gonna dry out within like a week. Even though it's really precise and really pigmented the first time you use it, it's now kind of becoming quite dry on the second eye, so 
I'm just gonna try my best. <laughs> okay, so my thoughts on the eyeliner has done a total 360. I cannot be dealing with a flaky eyeliner who doesn't show up to the party. I mean, look at that second eye. That is probably the worst eyeliner I have ever achieved. And that is only because the product had dried out after one use, like, Come on, you can't do that to me. Um, I was really liking the product as well. I think it was very precise, it was very black and matte, and I really liked it. I really wanted to like it until this happened. So definitely don't recommend the eyeliner, but we're now gonna test out the mascara. This is going to be a very thick mascara wand, I can tell, yes it is. It's a synthetic mascara wand. I'm actually just gonna curl my lashes first just to help them a little bit, you know. My lashes are literally the straightest lashes in the world, so they definitely need a helping hand. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna take the mascara now and just apply a few coats of this onto my lashes. Hmm, okay. Uh, hmm. It's not bad actually. It's making them super, super black and they're staying quite separated, which is good. It's not really giving them too much of volume, but it's definitely giving them quite a bit of length, which I'm actually really impressed with. I was just kind of under the impression that because the wand is so thick, I thought that it was gonna give me really amazing volume, but it hasn't really done that, but I'm not really complaining. It's given me the length, so that's all that matters. And lastly, I'm gonna move on to the lip. So for the lip, I have the lip pencil in shade Sorted. It looks like this. It's like my typical kind of dark nude sort of lip. It applies really nicely, actually. It kind of reminds me of the Kylie Lip Kit kind of lip liners, it glides onto the lips, which I'm really liking. So I've lined my lips. I really like the way the lip liner applied. It was super smooth application. It's really creamy. I have no idea if this is going to match the lipstick that I got. So the ASOS liquid lipstick I have here is in shade Immersed. Um, it's a lot darker than the lip liner, so I'm just gonna go over the lip liner and hope for the best. Oh my God, that color is so nice. This literally looks like Coco K. Okay, so I've gotta say, I'm really digging the liquid lipstick. It's such a nice color. It dries super matte. It's kind of making my lips look really, really dry. Can you guys see that? Um, but I'm really digging the color. Like, it literally looks like Coco K, or Candy K? No, I think it's Coco K by Kylie Lip Kits. Such a pretty color. This is very pigmented. It literally applied with one coat. So I'm very impressed by the lipstick and the lip liner. I think I give them like a nine out of 10. So that is it for my testing ASOS makeup. I am so impressed with some of these bits. Like I love the highlight. I really like the lipstick. I feel like the lipstick is definitely one of my favorite things from everything I've tested out today. Let me know your thoughts on the ASOS makeup. Would you ever buy them? This is the total that the whole purchases came up to. Now it is quite pricey for ASOS like, you could get cheaper makeup from the drugstore. Even though I like some of these pieces, I do think that you can definitely get better things from the drugstore instead of ASOS makeup. I probably would just go to the drugstore, to be honest. You have so much more choice. But yes, do let me know what you guys think of this makeup. I think I actually really like it. I don't really see too much difference from my typical products that I use, but the eyeliner was just a nightmare. The fact that it dried out and I literally couldn't finish this eye properly, that was not good. Let me know what other brands of makeup you would like me to test out. Um, I actually wanna do another like Poundland testing makeup. I've done one in the past, but I really wanna do another one because I'm sure there's like some new pieces and maybe even Primark. So let me know which one you would like to see first, a Poundland or a Primark makeup testing. I'll have a little poll in the corner there. That is all from me, thank you so much for watching. I really hope to see you guys in my next video and I hope you're all having a wonderful day. Bye! Mwah.